Man versus Gun. Hello shooters, today's installment of Man vs. Handgun, the Smith & Wesson Shield. It's my top pick for a small ultra concealable 9mm. So let's see how it does on the spreadsheet. Okay shooters, the Smith & Wesson Shield. This particular specimen is in 9mm, which is my preferred carry caliber. Let's see how much this thing weighs, or a better way to put it, how much it doesn't weigh. And it comes in at one pound, four and a half ounces. We'll call it one pound, five ounces. We'll round it up. Um, our Glock, 17, empty magazine. One pound, 11 ounces. So, let's see how many rounds make up the difference. It's going to be quite a few. So the shield with 16 rounds weighs the same as the Glock 17 does empty. So the shield, the widest spot there is the uh, slide release. 1.053 inches on the shield. 1.053 inches. It's really thin. It's a single stack. But it's really thin so it gets really high marks for being thin and really high marks for being so light. It's too small to be a service. See, I can't get my I can't get my pinky on there. So, it's uh, too small to be a service handgun, but this is a perfect concealed carry handgun. So, it gets the highest marks possible for being concealed carry handgun. And um, since it's so thin and so small, it does get some points for being in the pocket category the receiver also. receiver gets higher marks. It's got that same feel as the rest of the Smith & Wesson M&P line. It's generally pretty comfortable to most people. So it gets, uh, it's plastic, so that's a high mark, and it gets another point upgrade just for the, the feel and design of it. The back straps are non-adjustable on the Smith & Wesson M&P. On the rest of the M&P series, the back strap is replaceable, but on the shield it's not, so it is what it is. It either fits you or you fit it, if you know what I mean. Side panels are the exact same as the other uh, Smith & Wesson M&P line. Good design, but they are non-adjustable. Trigger pull on the shield is actually, you know what, really nice. I like it. There's, you know, you have the take up there. It's not gritty. And I haven't put a ton of rounds through my Smith & Wesson shield. You know, maybe, I don't know, a thousand. But, uh... It's got good take up and then the wall and then you don't feel any sponginess like, like you do with a Glock. Take up the wall, pressure, click. Uh, so I, 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 I like the trigger pull. It's about five and a half pounds and it's the exact same every time. That's a good thing. The, uh, the magazine well is flared um, on all sides to, to um, aid in insertion. The magazine is a really cool design. It's not totally single stack. See, Smith & Wesson did a great job engineering this thing. The gun's got to be so wide. If it's so, if it's too thin, it's not going to be fun to shoot because it's going to come back in the. It's going to be like holding onto a knife or something, or an axe or something, an axe blade. So it's got to have some thickness to it. So notice that it's not a single stack totally. A single stack feed, but then it's kind of a double stack. That's why Smith & Wesson is able to maximize the round count of this handgun. And no other handgun in this size class can hold this number of rounds. So great design on the magazine. Um, the base plate is not um, one-handed manipulation friendly. That's just the way it is. Um, but it does seat in there good. Notice we got that pushback. And that's what we like in magazines. It helps uh, it helps with reliability getting the magazine in the well. 
magazine replay magazine release in a great spot um, good design on the magazine release it's not mirror image it's only on one side you can switch sides but it's only on one side um, the shield has the same safety in here as the rest of the M and P line it's this this trigger there if you don't if you don't get the bottom part of the trigger there trigger can't pull it also has a, a safety here on the side that you can use if you don't there are people <coughs> that I know that carry this M and P appendix style <clears throat> and they're not comfortable sticking it in their pants without a, an external safety but then they don't want a safety once it comes go time so I know people that will apply the safety to put in their appendix carry holster and then once it's firmly down in the holster they'll use their thumb and take the safety off so then when they take the, the gun out they manipulate the safe the trigger right there and they're good to go so it's uh, and you can also get the shield now without the safety at all but this is no big deal no big deal at all so get since the safety is in the trigger like the rest of the MP line it gets high marks because it's mirror image it's in a great location you don't have to do anything but uh, pull the trigger the slide catch release is the same great design of the other M&P uh, series, but it is only on one side. It's not mirror image. So the workaround there is you use your trigger finger if you're left-handed, or you just come over the top and manipulate the slide. Your choice. Rear sight. <clears throat> I wish the rear sight was a little bit stronger, a little bit more of a shelf here like the rest of the M&P line. <clears throat> so it would grab onto a belt buckle or a holster or a door jam or a steering wheel so you can manipulate the slide easier one-handed um, so an aftermarket sight's probably in order for this front sight's a uh, great design just like the other M&P line since this is so small there is no light rail that's available and this is not optics compatible so let's uh, let's take this shield out to the range and put some rounds through it most ultra small automatics even some 380s but especially most all nine millimeter small handguns are no fun to shoot at all but the Smith & Wesson shield doesn't follow that mold it's not unpleasant at all the recoil is mild it's a very accurate handgun it's fun to shoot unlike most small ones this is this is fun to shoot okay shooters the Smith & Wesson M&P shield does well on the spreadsheet for a carry gun as I mentioned in the opener this is my choice for a small ultra concealable 9 millimeter. I know there's Glock fans out there but uh, I like the Smith & Wesson M&P Shield. All American made, reliable, accurate, very concealable. It does the job for you. If you're in the market for one of these, check them out. Anyhow, thank you for watching. I appreciate all the shares, likes, and subscribes. Any comments or questions, post them below. And until next time, have a great day.